Hi everyone! Let's dive right into another Art Progress Pup Date. Here are my sketch layers. I'd start off with some rough rough shapes in green, just mapping out where I want all the different puppies, and then I build up layers of sketch in a darker color. You can turn the layers on and off to adjust, adjust body positions and whatnot. And then we're ready to color. So to start coloring, I outline the sketch in a darker color. This is not inking, it's just outlining. <laughs> outlining the entire shape. And then once all the lines are connected, I can use the paint bucket and fill it in. And then I turn off the other layers so I can see it clearly. And you see it leaves little white spaces in between the lines and the paint bucket fill. So, so you have to go in and manually fill those all in with the brush. And then you turn your sketch layer back on and make the fill lighter. And I like to go over and erase all the sketch lines from the from the edges of the of the fill color um, just so it gets a nice clean edge and it's not you know sloppy and sketchy and then I can lock the fill layer and um, now it's like like you can't color outside the lines it's it's the magic of digital coloring it's great <laughs> so I can I can color however I want and it's only going to be affected in this area that that I have colored it's like masking so to start coloring I um, I start I like to start with mid-tones and kind of dark colors and then build up the lighter colors on top of that um, here I'm just mapping out the basic fur colors of all the puppies and trying to um, get their markings right. You can see I have little references scattered around so I know what color a coyote puppy is. <laughs> and you can see from the reference pictures that there is quite a variety, so I want to make my puppies as unique as possible. So this little one is going to be more pale grays and oranges. Um, the one she's lying on top of is dark grays and more muted browns, especially on his paws there. You can see he has little gray, gray paws, but she has the solid orange paws. I mean, not solid orange, but different, different color and just different. <laughs> Make them all different and special. And this one back here, her face is based off of that picture you saw at the beginning of the video was my, my dog Maybell. She makes these cute squishy faces when she sleeps. So that was my reference for this puppy's face. And a cute little smile. And I'm not, I'm not doing any real detail work, just just basing out the fur colors and a little tiny bit of shading. And once I get the basic colors down, I make a layer set to multiply and I lock it to the fill layer and I start putting down some basic shadows and shading and just following the form of the animal and sculpting out some dimensionality, three-dimensionality into the characters. So anywhere that should be dark is gonna get dark. That's the plan. And there it goes. And then super quick, here's the mom. Like, don't blink, you'll either miss it, or you'll miss it. There she goes. I can't even talk, because it's just so fast. But yay, fur! Coloring! Do it so fast!